co-op seem to do everything. Food, to legal services, they even do funerals. Today, of course, we are just focusing on the food aspect. £10 at the co-op, let's go. Genuinely, for one of these challenges, probably the best kind of thing I could hope to find walking into it. Meat and veg done really quickly. Let's see what else there is. Tempting, but I think I'm done with curry at this point. Not bad at all. For a £10 budget, that ain't bad. Speaking of budgeting, are you tired of rail travel costing you an arm and a leg and you really want to get your tickets for cheaper? Well, thanks to this video sponsor, that is now much more achievable. TrainPal is an absolutely essential app when it comes to booking train tickets across the UK. It saves you having to queue up at one of those awful ticket machines that always seem to be out of order when you get there, like it happens time and time again whenever I'm trying to buy a ticket from them. It lets you download your e-tickets and your rail cards straight to the app so you never have to worry about paper tickets again. What's really great about TrainPal is they're always trying to save you money. Whether that's through splitting your train fares up into two separate single tickets, or by giving you loads of vouchers to use on your different journeys. There's also no booking fees, which between you and me, uh, a few other apps do have. So, you know, that's an absolute win-win there. Speaking of vouchers, by inputting the code WILDER directly into TrainPal, you can save so much money and get so many different vouchers. You can get 34% off your rail cards. You can save 5% as a new user, or if you're a returning user, you get 2% off. There's also a really fun little feature where you can view your travel path across the UK so you can just keep track of exactly where you've been to and from, which is a pretty cool, fun thing to do. One of my favourite aspects of TrainPal, though, is through their partnership with Ecology B Corps. It supports tree growing through the Grow Your Forest feature on the app, which allows you to grow your own little virtual tree, and the more trees that you grow virtually, they actually plant a real tree in real life, really contributing to the green eco movement, which yeah, I just think is such a really nice thing for them to be able to do. So once again, a huge thank you to TrainPal for sponsoring this video, and do remember to use that code WILDER in order to start saving on your train fares today. It's a train! I am so happy about this. Morning, morning. It's day one and I'm actually really surprised by what we managed to find at co-op. Like, absolutely, hello. I thought it was gonna be a much harder shop than it was, but the fact I was greeted by fresh fruit and veg, I'm not gonna complain at all. And I managed to find this. Belvita soft bakes. I normally get the blueberry ones, but I genuinely swear by these. If I'm not, doing one of these challenges nine times out of ten in the morning, I'm having a bowl of porridge or a Belvita soft bake. If you have not seen one before, Belvita soft bake. This one has uh, chocolate chips. Again, I don't normally get the chocolate one, but I'm not complaining here. Now I did buy some pretty basic ingredients, right? But I've actually got a few plans, I think, to try and make things as interesting and different as possible. So watch this space. Welcome back to Soup with Sam, where today I'll be using the broccoli to make some kind of broccoli and mixed veg soup. With broccoli, you always want to make sure you get the hard edges of the stalk off before cutting it into nice sized chunks. That goes onto a baking tray with a couple of roughly cut spring onions, a nice amount of our frozen mixed vegetables, before getting dredged in oil, lightly seasoned, and then taken for roasting for 30 minutes or so. Once out of the oven, we transfer it into a blender, making sure to get every single last bit of cooked veg. Add a decent amount of water before blending it together, adding more water as you go until you reach your desired consistency. All of that gets poured into a pan and lightly heated and seasoned to perfection. Whilst that's going on, we take some of our sandwich thins and put them in a toaster, ready for a nice side plating for our soup. Get your soup ladle to serve it up, and there you have it, a beautiful broccoli and mixed vegetable soup, using no cream or butter, making it delicious, but a much healthier option than your usual cream of soups. Yeah, soup is my go-to on these challenges, but it's gonna last a long time. And I've not actually used frozen veg to do this before. It's nice to have some bread on the side, but predominantly 
having tasted a little bit of it already. It's predominantly got a broccoli flavour, which I'm not complaining. The rest was, I guess, just a bit of a body and then some onion as well from the spring onion, which I've learned buying spring onions or just onions on these challenges. Game changer. Lovely to have some bread as well. Shame it's not buttered, but oh well. And honestly, I've said it once and I'll say it again. Soup, there's so much you don't need for it. You always see these recipes with cream or specific stock to go with it or things like that. Veg cooked in oil, half an hour in the oven little bit of salt, blend that all up with some water, make it the consistency you want by adding less or more water, and you've just got a wonderful, very healthy soup. I will say, cream does add a like extra layer of umptiousness to it. That obviously doesn't fit in with the confines of this challenge. It does feel weird to be eating soup in the middle of July, but that is the weather we've been given. We can only play with the hand we're dealt. So it's my first dinner, and I've, I've been having a little think about what to do with this, and I, I wanna try and get like three days worth of food. So I feel like everything's pretty much gonna be including like rice of some kind as a side, because there's not really much else, other than maybe a bit of broccoli and some veg or whatever. But anyway, what I've done is I've made some breadcrumbs. You see? Made some little breadcrumbs here. I don't have egg or anything as a binding agent for my chicken. And I want to kind of make like a nice deep fried crispy chicken thigh kind of thing. I think I will do that. I think I will do that. But uh, I'm going to kind of mix everything together. So we're going to put some of this salt and pepper seasoning packet, which has, uh, smells excellent. It's from Yo Sushi. And we'll mix this with this, just a decent amount. Don't know what I'm going to have with it yet, but I am going to remove the skin and the bone off one, maybe two of these. They look quite big. So maybe we'll, you know, bash it out a little bit, schnitzelly wise. I don't know. I might use the teriyaki as a bit of a bit of bit of bit of binding just to get all of the bread on it. Maybe. Again, I don't know. I'm gonna see how it goes and uh, let's just let's just go for it. Cover it in some teriyaki sauce, then coat it in this. And after a few minutes, these guys get a flip and they're nice and golden brown on the bottom there. And then we'll also heat the rice up. Didn't let the skin go to waste. Made some little crispy ones. Yum yum. Sometimes even I surprise myself. This was purely made on a whim. I went in then just now, having no expectations as to what I would make. It's missing a sauce. Without even trying it, I can tell you it's missing a sauce. But the chicken's cooked. The breading looks decent. Just go for the chicken, shall we? That's really good. The salt and pepper seasoning that we bought, absolutely beautiful. Tied in with the breadcrumbs. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, actually, which is nice. Deep fried, it's got that GBD that you just can't get from an air fryer. Rice isn't bad as well. This is a very good dinner. And definitely a decent way to wrap up day one. Bananas. Mash the bananas. I allow myself one teaspoon of a spice in each of these dishes. So, in goes some cinnamon. Bread goes in. Bread crumbs come out. Into mixture they go. And we mix. You just take spoonfuls of the mixture, pop it in a pan, and snake into your fritter shape. Simple as that. We cook a few minutes on each side, and then we serve up. Well, there we have it, there we go. Banana fritters, rice. Three ingredients, super easy to make. And they're honestly lovely every time. They're sweet enough, they've got a bit of crisp to them. Banana, slightly cooked, really nice. Caramelizes it a little bit. Now this, like a spoonful of yogurt, or even a bit of honey or something. That's very, very nice. Goes a long way. But honestly, as they are, they're really, really good. And a very nice and tasty way to start my day. Two hours later. 
Soupy soup 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 soupy soup soup. I want some soup, yes I do. Riley, we're gonna get some soup. Soupy soupy soup, I love you. I put it the soup. Oh soupy do, I want to eat you. I'm not complaining that this is my lunch over the next few days because this is beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. And I've still got loads of this bread left, so, you know. Need to eat it all up before it goes mouldy though, because I do wonder when it's going to get mouldy. It was only 51p after all. Dying for a bit of butter. But if I were to put butter on it, so many of you in the comments would be like, oh, you didn't buy butter. Which is a bit silly if you ask me, but, you know. Not putting it on the crap for me, but it appeases you guys. Gonna make a simple yet yummy dinner tonight. Not much else to say. It's bloody good. Mm. Righto, dinner time, and here's the plan. That was an awful Australian accent, and I don't even know why I'm doing an Australian accent. One chicken thigh done in the air fryer. Heat this up with some spring onion and the rest of the rice, and just serve it all together. It's a little sad looking. The reason for that is purely just my own foolishness. I forgot to add my frozen mixed veg, which I was gonna like make a really nice little stir fry out of that and the teriyaki and the rice and spring onion, but I only managed the spring onion because I'm, I'm silly and I only realized literally just a second. Oh well. The salt and pepper seasoning, get to really, really taste it this time now. It's really good. It was cheap, it's a good flavour packet, there's plenty in there, there's still plenty left and I can have some tomorrow. We'll try it all together. It's a match made in heaven, honestly. Vastly different to yesterday's dinner, using pretty much all the exact same ingredients. Just no bread this time and obviously a few less vegetables. It's just interesting to see the amount of different things you can make with the same ingredients. And I've got an even more interesting one for dinner tomorrow. I'm really enjoying this. We definitely do with some peanut butter. The rest of the soup. Final day of soup. I can't have bread with it today, which is annoying. Why you ask? Because I've got plans for it for dinner, so unfortunately it's just this. I'm saying that's not that unfortunate, because it's bloody lovely. I'm actually quite sad that's over. Might have to make some more. We are on our very last meal, and <laughs> I've got one chicken thigh left, and some veg, and some broccoli. I've, I've got a little idea, which I don't know how it's going to go, and it should be, I guess, kind of interesting, but... We'll, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Basically, I'm gonna have the broccoli on the side, but I'm going to take the chicken thigh, I'm gonna debone it, I'm gonna flatten it out, similar to the other time, but I'm gonna make a mixture of breadcrumbs and some of the cooked mixed vegetables blended together to kind of make a paste. I'm gonna wrap that all and stuff the chicken thigh with that. Because I think, oh, there you go, look. Yeah, yeah little cocktail sticks so we can pierce it through to hold it together. Cook it in the air fryer with some salt and pepper seasoning and have some broccoli on the side. Sounds all right, sounds good, sounds okay. See how we get on. Very healthy looking plate of food and I think this chicken looks inspired actually. I thought I'd keep the skin on just for a bit of added crisp but the stuffing actually looks really really nice. I mean it's literally just a bit of veg and bread and salt and salt and pepper seasoning but let's try it. The stuffing's nice. I mean, it doesn't add a load to it but it's really nice. The salt and pepper seasoning is the overpowering taste of everything. 
but it's nice that I can use the rest of this veg, the rest of this broccoli. Broccoli being the most elite thing in the world. Just an FYI. If you don't like broccoli, I think you're crazy. Great dinner. Good three days. Yeah, three days. We lasted three days. I actually didn't think we'd last that long, co-op, so I think that's pretty good. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.